So there is a moment in this story where Jesus was standing in front of the temple and all the people were coming together, bringing their offerings, and especially the rich people were trying to get the attention of Jesus. Guys, we made it up until this point, and I am so excited to talk to you about one of my biggest passions, which is worship. So when we think about worship, one of the first things we think about is people gathering together. There's usually a band, there's music involved, everybody's singing. But what if I told you that worship is so much more than just the act of singing together? So there is a moment in this story where Jesus was standing in front of the temple and all the people were coming together, bringing their offerings, and especially the rich people were trying to get the attention of Jesus. But he noticed that there was a woman who brought only two copper coins. She was a very poor widow. And the moment that Jesus saw that, he stopped the entire room and he wanted to get their attention because he wanted to show them that this woman gave much more than all of the other people did. Not because she brought more money, but because the sacrifice that she gave was much more than the other people did. I recently finished a book called The Reset, and there's a chapter called The Land of Our Dreams, where it speaks about us being born with certain desires and dreams in our hearts that God gave to us. And those dreams can be anything from making music, to doing business, to going into politics, to doing arts. But what he says is one of the most dangerous things that we can do is chasing after those dreams that God put in our hearts without including him in the process. So as we end off this Bible study, my challenge to you is may our lives be a living sacrifice. May the dreams that God put in our hearts be inclusive. And as we live this life pursuing Jesus, may it be a life that we live in spirit and in truth as we worship God. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gift out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on.